Question for you. Is your head screwed on right or is your head screwed up? <laughs> is your head just all out of whack or are you focused? You know, yesterday we talked a little bit about uh, sponsoring and closing people into your products and your service and your businesses. And it doesn't really what matter what company or products that you have. The, the question really remains is that where are you coming from? Yesterday I shared an email that talked about a prospect that basically took on a victim mentality. It was everybody was out to get her to take her money. And she didn't really seem to take responsibility for the lack of success that she had, even though she said she was a hard worker and she may or may not be. I'm not really sure. However, we never know who we're going to talk to. You know, as Bash says, and if you don't know Bash, you can scroll down and, and see him. He's an inspiration and a light to a lot of people. When he was six years old, he said to me, BB, he says, you know, the problem with a lot of people is they're just nutsy cuckoo. <laughs> And he's right, there's a lot of nutsy cuckoo people out there. And hopefully, hopefully you're not one of them. <laughs> people tell me all the time they struggle sometimes with uh, sales or closing. And what happens when I talk to them is they get all weird. And what I'll tell you is that don't be a weirdo, okay? Being weird never works. Not if you want to attract people. So today I want to talk a little bit about your mindset when you're engaging with people on a one-on-one -on -one conversation or on social media or however you interact with them. Where, where's your head at when you go into a conversation? Do you come from the place of always trying to make the sale? Do you come from the place of always trying to close the deal? And when that doesn't happen, how do you feel? Do you feel depressed? Do you feel bummed out? Do you feel like nobody's going to do this business with you? Nobody's going to buy your products? The economy's bad. It's a tough time. You know, it's almost Christmas. Nobody does business. It's the middle of the Hanukkah. Nobody does business. People are focused on family. Nobody wants to buy products or services. Well, that's one way to look at it. I wouldn't suggest you take that approach though. I wouldn't suggest you take that approach. You see, going into any conversation uh, that you have, and I don't care what product or service you have or somebody else has. Hey, Steve. Hey, Emily, how are you? You need to come from it totally from a standpoint of making it a win for the person that you're talking to. I believe. I believe every successful transaction should be win-win. If it's not a win for them and a win for me, it's not a good transaction. So when you're talking to people, what's your intention when you're talking to people? Are you trying to you know, get a number, another number on the board? Are you trying to get more sales, close out the month strong? What is your intention? You see, I believe everybody sells every day. You're selling your ideas. You're convincing people. In the merchandise world, it's about exchanging money for a solution, something of value that the other person can't get by themselves. That's what sales is all about. Sales is about, you know, a fair exchange. And, you know, I just got a friend request from, you know, somebody and they were like, Oh, I made four thousand dollars the last five days, and I made nineteen thousand dollars last week, and I made this money, and I made that money, and I made this money, and I made that money. You know what I did to that friend request? I deleted it. Why? Because she's all about the hype. You see, I believe. I might be wrong. I often am. My belief is that <clears throat> if you want to do business with people. You want to do business with people that you know, like, and trust. People who have integrity, people who have good character, people who have good, strong values. And that is not conducive to a bunch of hype or a bunch of, I made this, I made that. It's not. The really good salespeople take an interest in the other person. That's human relations 101. 
find out what's important to that other person. And understand this, when you think about your mindset before you go into any conversation, what's your desired outcome? How do you want the other person to feel? Do you want them to feel, you know, pushed, uh, but that's okay as long as you make the money? Or do you want them to feel good about who you are as a person and what they get from you as a person? You see, it, it's, it's so easy. It, it's so common sense, but we get all weird in our head. We get all weird in our head because we don't really stop to think about that prospect is another person just like you. In fact, I often encourage people to talk about the people that they're doing business with or want to do business with as people and not prospects, not, you know, people with money. You know, I believe that every transaction I go into should be a win-win for both of us. And if it's not, we probably shouldn't do it. I don't want to be taken advantage of, and I certainly don't want to take advantage of somebody else. But there's a lot of people out there who will do that, and they don't really care about it. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on this. How do you get your head on right before you go into a conversation that could be perceived as sales, closing, and sponsoring, okay? Um, what is your desired outcome? How do you get your head on right when you go into these conversations? What questions do you ask yourself before you go into that conversation? And if you're watching a replay, let me know you're watching a replay and, you know, give me some feedback here. Let me know how you get your head on right. Let me know some of the common mistakes you see people make when they approach closing and sponsoring, even prospecting. There's so many people who just do it wrong. What's wrong? It's hypey and pitchy. Nobody likes to be sold anything, guys. People love to buy. People buy what they want, not what they need. So just because you're talking to somebody who might need to lose 10 or 20 pounds, that doesn't mean they have any interest. Just because you're talking to somebody with skin, that doesn't mean they're interested in your skincare product. Just because somebody has pain, that doesn't mean they are interested in your pain product, your CBD oil product. You never know what's going on in the mind of the prospect. And we're going to talk about that tomorrow. But before you go into any of these conversations, you absolutely have to know how you want the other person to perceive you. What experience do you want them to have based on their interaction with you? You know, some people are just going to close you down right away. Well, that says more about them than it does you. If you're just reaching out to somebody and see if they have a desire to create a better quality of life. If you're talking business, I mean, I got in this profession 25 years ago, not because I had conquest of the bonkers, <laughs> not because I needed money. I had a six figure income. That's 25 years ago. I got into this business because I want to be a dad again. It was more about time for me. So if you would have pitched me on the money, if you'd have pitched me on the products, I wouldn't have cared much. You pitch me on, Hey, I can stay home with my kids. Now you got my attention. Tell me how. Tell me how I can do that. So you need to be very intentional about your mindset when you go into conversations. And one more thing. If you make your offer of your product or your business to somebody and they choose not to participate for whatever reason and you feel rejection, you need to hit the pause button right there. Hit the pause button right there because who's that about? Is that about you helping that other person or is that about you? It's about you and your ego. So your ego is getting in the way because they didn't agree with you. Hey, come from a place of abundance and prosperity because there's enough people out there who need and want what we have. And absolutely, you can share it with everybody. The right people are going to show up. You have to take action. You have to work for it if you're going to have any level of success. And if you're not working for it, you're probably not going to have success. You need to look at what you say to people. You need to look at the questions that you ask of people. And then you need to look at how you can help them solve problems. That's the mindset of a master prospector, presenter, sponsor, and closer. Hopefully that makes sense to you, my friends. Again, if you're watching this, it makes sense to you. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a heart. Uh, if it doesn't make sense to you, say, it doesn't make sense, Terry. Tell me more about that. And I'll tell you more about that. <laughs> Love to have a conversation with you. 
Hey, and if you're interested in getting more trainings like this, uh, jump over to the prosperousnetworker.com. That's actually my Facebook group where I offer lots of coaching and tips and training. You have to answer three questions. If you don't answer three questions, you won't get in the group. But if you do, I'd love to have you in that group. I'd love to support you and help you any way that I possibly can. Uh, if you know somebody on your team who needs to hear this message, by all means, share it with them. Make it a better than trivia day and a prosperous one, my friend, because you absolutely deserve it. Look forward to seeing you at theprosperousnetworker.com. Take care. Bye-bye now.